Kipruto uh, Kirwa, Deputy Party Leader ANC. There's one headline uh, as seen on page 8 of the standard. Political Parties Dispute Tribunal has reinstated Osotsi. Uh, this is Godfrey Osotsi as a Secretary General of the Amani National Congress, meaning now that uh, Barack Muluka's appointment has been quashed. Where does that leave the party? Uh, Barack Muluka had been uh, vocal up until now as a Secretary General. Uh, <coughs> then wh what does this decision uh, where does this decision by the political party disputes tribunal leave ANC? Well, it's the beginning of another process, and uh, that process uh, I do not want to preempt the, the likely decision, but I'm sure there will be an appeal on that, mm -hmm. and we may move to the next stage, mm -hmm. and that effectively means the, the battlegrounds are clear, and the lines are drawn. So ANC will still insist on having Barack Muluka as its secretary? As far as I'm concerned, mm -hmm. and uh, to the best of my knowledge, uh, Barack is still our SG mm -hmm. and if the tribunal has thought otherwise uh, it's a different case because the resignation was not uh, sort of forced on anybody because the two officers who are nominated both to the Senate and to the National Assembly clearly demonstrated good faith before the nomination was done mm -hmm. that they were going to vacate offices to pave the way for other people okay. to come into the party. That's the knowledge that I have from the party, and I don't think that position has changed overnight. Well, the political party's tribunal, disputes tribunal, feels that uh, Godfrey Osotzi's resignation was coerced, and that's the reason for quashing the appointment of Barack Muluka as secretary general of that party. Yeah. Yes, Bonasim. Let, 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 yeah, let me make a comment on this one kindly, because I, I, I sort of followed this case, and uh, I just happened to be at the court yesterday, and. So when I, I have this decision, this decision is being delivered. I sat in court to listen to the to the ruling, mm -hmm. and uh, I would like to differ with my senior brother here. It's it's not really the feeling of the political parties dispute mm -hmm. tribunal. It's a decision mm -hmm. of a judicial institution. Yes, and uh, just having sat in there and listened, I was really sort of like worried for Musalia in terms of the quality of legal and political advice he receives because it was very embarrassing the details that came out. Mm -hmm. Because it turns out that Osotsi never actually wrote a letter. That the, some letter was typed. A resignation letter. Yes, yeah, mm -hmm. apparently some, some undated letter was typed by someone else. Mm -hmm. And um, one night, at, at, uh, Musali just asked him, you sign this. But did he sign? He signed. I mean, yes. someone of, of the stage of your party leader is telling mm -hmm. you, sign this. You know, and the court cited um, authorities from Uganda, and I forget from where else, where I'm certainly made up a, 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 a representative of the Uganda Defense Forces to sign a resignation letter. And the Supreme Court of Uganda held that, no, that is, mm -hmm. that is coercion and duress. You don't do that. Yes. You, are, you talk to the guy and appeal to him to, to resign. And then he writes his own letter and then signs his own letter. Mm -hmm. You know, someone of the stage of a party leader telling you in, in his house at night, sign that. My friend, you don't have much choice. Yes. You, you actually append your signature. Yes. And that is, cannot be termed as, as voluntary. And there are many, many other uh, things that came out that made me worry for Masali in terms of what kind of, what quality of legal and political advice that he receives. Mm -hmm. And the decision that was made by the, the disputes tribunal was that, uh, in fact, it's not about, I even that headline is it's a bit uh, misleading, it's not about reinstating, it's as if he never it never that. happened. Yes. So it held that ab initio, from the beginning, the appointment of Barack Muluka was null and void. Mm -hmm. So Sosi has always actually by law been the, been the secretary general and therefore continues to be the secretary general. Let me tell you finally, surprisingly, I was hearing in court how Osotsi even offered that. Can we not handle this more professionally? Can you not give me like about two, three months of transition? Mm -hmm. We handle this more professionally. I hand over in, in good faith and then I leave after two, three months. And it was rejected. Wow. I said, goodness. Well, I've, I've heard <laughs> him, but uh, I think he's not a party member to begin with. And I would find myself hesitant to want to engage on party matters or in the open like this because the avoidance of uh, Barack Moloka's um, position does not in any way mean that is the final arbiter that can decide. Mm -hmm. Therefore, other options are still available for us That's right. to ensure that we move to the next stage. And if the leadership of the party does feel it is different, uh, they are taking a different position, I don't think an individual can necessarily bulldoze the position in the party because it is the, 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 the coalition, the, the coming together of the willing. Mm -hmm. And if majority say no, 
I don't see how uh, my good friend Otsosi is going to push himself into the party. What about uh, what he says, the concerns about the kind of legal advice that your party leader is receiving? Well, legal advice notwithstanding, withstanding, it is also clear that uh, some individuals choose to present a case. And because it is the question of the party leader and Otsosi, and therefore uh, it, it will not be proper uh, for us to be arbiters when we do not have any jurisdiction as far as that matter is concerned. Okay. 